Okay, so this is one I had about a month ago. So I was in LA. I definitely remember this one. Um, so all of us, all of us being like the class of uh, people I graduated with, all of us were at this place called Zion National Park and there were these two really long tables for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. It was just part of the lobby of the cabin we were staying at. And we were sitting there celebrating a birthday or something. It definitely wasn't just like a meal. It was definitely a weighted sort of celebration or party or something and a whole group of us is there and then one of our teachers was also there but it wasn't her it was like an off-brand version of her and a part of the party aspect of it was it was like guys versus girls and it was a competition because obviously everything has to be a competition like that's the thing about my dreams I'm not resting I told my roommate this like when I sleep, I don't feel like I'm resting. Like, I don't feel like I ever get rest because my dreams are keeping me at work and working and, like, alive and alert. It's just... <sighs> my brain. Anyway, it's a competition between guys and girls, and essentially we're on opposite sides of this table. This table ends up extending, and then there's a river in the middle. And we have like these big pirate cannons, and we essentially just have to shoot the other players until everyone's knocked down. We were told that to, we had to knock down 12 of them at least in order to win, uh, and then you could like knock down the rest of them if we wanted to. So we did that, and then they're like, wait, the next round, you have to like make sure you tear off all everyone's shirts, like with force. Like you you it's not like in a like, ooh, you're tearing off their shirts. It's like, no, you have to like rip off their shirts and you have to try and keep your shirts on. Without like touching them, we had to tear off their shirts. It really bizarre concept. So all the shirts that we had to tear off were like police shirts. We weren't allowed to beat the policemen. So that's why like we couldn't touch them because they were all policemen shirts. We all had to carry our bags for some reason because we were like, okay, game's over. Now we all have to go. We all have to leave this cabin. And that was that. And then our like off-brand teacher was like, no, 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 you're all not going anywhere. You're definitely staying, which, and she pointed to me and I was like, Wait, why? Like, I need to go. Like, everyone's leaving. Why can't I go? And she slammed all the doors. Like, she looked. Our off-brand teacher forces all of us to go under these tables. And now all of us are, like, sitting there, like, okay, like, what's gonna happen? Like, what's going on? Anyone help? So we're, like, all there. But she didn't take our phones away. Like, she was like, no, 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 I'm not gonna take your phones away. So this one girl was like, I'm gonna call. 911. 911 wasn't answering this girl, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try another line, not 911. This like underground, like disguised line, you know, like if you're in trouble, you can call this line or whatever. So I call them, and what you have to say if you're in trouble is, I need an Airbnb in Mississippi, which is a code saying that you're in trouble with a big group of people. Okay. And so we're all trying to leave and get this off-brand teacher to just like leave us alone and just look away. Just then she goes, all right, time to collect everyone's phones. And I'm still on the line with this like, this disguise, you know, help hotline. And I'm like, you can't take my phone. She goes, okay, but I'm going to take it away or else something bad is going to happen to you. I'm like, obviously something bad's already happening. I'm trapped in this place and this woman is controlling us and the doors don't open and so we're trapped. We have no food, we have nothing. For some reason, she was like, fine, you can keep your phone, but you'll see, you'll get yours. And I'm like, okay, sure. So I end up keeping my phone, but we're all stuck. And then this one cop comes and she's dressed as a Jehovah Witness, but we, or Jehovah's Witness? Jehovah, what are those exactly? Anyway. She comes and we're like, oh my god, it's the cop, but she, like, off-brand teacher doesn't know that. Like, she does, she has no idea. And we're like, oh my gosh, we'll totally join, like, for sure. And we're thinking, it's all gonna be good, like, we're saved now. And she comes in and we all just start standing up and start leaving, because we're like, well, we can walk out now. Like, she walked in and now we can leave because she's gonna arrest this off-brand teacher. And then I go back to grab one of my bags that I left. 
idiot. The off-brand teacher ended up arresting the cop, so we weren't safe still, and so I had to try and grab my bag, and she ended up like putting like rocks and boulders in my bag so I couldn't pick up the bag, and so I was like, forget the bag, I don't need the bag, and so I started running, and every time I kept running, like people would appear, and I had to like keep pushing them out of the way and shoving them out of the way, and each door and window I tried, like the off-brand teacher like kept like closing and like with her head like she would just be in control of closing everything so I couldn't escape and like all my friends already left like they were all gone like they were all safe but I was the only one that couldn't get out of this situation I'm trying to yell for people and this happens in my dreams all of the time I'm trying to yell for people and I cannot talk like I'm like and nothing is coming out of my mouth like that must happen to people. Comment down below if you've had a nightmare like this. And like, you're, you're yelling so much and no one can help you. It's the worst feeling. Like, it happens to me all the time. And so my arms are flailing and this, I finally get this one girl's attention. It's like one of my friends from school. And she doesn't believe me and she doesn't help me. She's like, nope, never mind. And I literally beat her up. I was like, you need to help me. I'm gonna be attacked by this woman. And she ends up, like, after getting beat up, just, like, walks off. And then the off-brand teacher ends up grabbing me and starts to choke me. And as I'm, like, dying, I woke up. So that was that. <laughs> These are, like, just the start, you guys. You have no idea how wacky my dreams are. These are, like, actual dreams that make sense sequentially. Comment down below if you know what any of these dreams mean. If you want to psychoanalyze me for a hot second. If you know me or don't, go ahead. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I post videos every single Monday now and it's free so like why not do it it's you know like right here or something like well we'll put her here um, and yeah like this video if you enjoyed it like dreams or nightmares and want to hear more and let me know if you want me to continue this series because I think it could be really fun alright see you guys on Monday bye